here to give a brief update for emergency preparedness that we've been preparing for since Thursday for tropical weather from Cristobal. Earlier today, I made visits around St. Tammany Parish, particularly the sandbag locations in Covington and Mandeville, where sandbags are being provided to our citizens, both at a self-serve level and at a distribution level provided by personnel that, will, that are able to provide sandbags and put them in the back of your vehicle. Those operations at the six locations around our parish will continue through the afternoon until 5.30. And we ask our citizens to take advantage of this today. Also, I made visits to Slidell, Lacombe, and back to Mandeville, where in Mandeville, I was made a call-in interview to a local radio station, and then I was interviewed by the Weather Channel on the lakefront of, in Mandeville. So we've been getting the word out across our parish to our citizens through different medium. And I want to thank the media who is covering this, this press conference this afternoon. Thank you for being here. I also want to thank my local office of the public information that has set up this press briefing for us today. And I want to thank all of our departments in parish government that have been so instrumental in the preparation of our parish and preparing our citizens to be ready for this rain and wind event that we expect early tomorrow morning and throughout the day tomorrow. I, I would like to say that, again, from a parish government standpoint, we are prepared. We have been providing sandbags since Thursday afternoon and making those available to our citizens. And we have also been preparing our drainage ways. Our public works departments have been checking out our drainage ways and making sure that they're clear of debris to the extent possible. Our Tammany Utilities, who services uh, many of our citizens with water and sewer services, making sure that our systems are up and running and they'll be on call throughout the event to make sure that we have little interruption. We have also been in contact with our partners, our utilities. I've been in personal contact with CLECO and have direct contact with them as well as other partners uh, throughout St. Tammany Parish that allow us to, uh, to provide emergency response and, and other means of support throughout, throughout an event. And Clarence is going to bring us up to date further on that. I'd like to say in preparation for this event, we have closed the fishing pier in Slidell, Camp Salmon, and the Tammany Trace so that our citizens can take preparations this afternoon and today to not only uh, with sandbags, as I mentioned earlier, but to take precautions and make preparations for, for getting food, water, and other items that will prepare you in the event you have to shelter in place for a day or two, depending on the weather that we get. So we've been uh, in constant contact with our citizens through meetings such as this and also through other uh, sources, our, our Facebook and, and Charter, uh, Channel 710, which is STPG. And we have other sources of getting our news out to our citizens, and we're going to ask that our citizens stay tuned to our local TV stations, national weather stations, and our local social media outlets as well. At this time, I'm going to call Clarence Poe to the podium as he will give us a further updates on preparations and what we can expect from 
Tropical Storm Cristobal. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon. Looking at Ghost Ball, we, we know that this is a large storm. storm. This storm covers about 700 miles across, so this is a huge storm, and we definitely can't underestimate just because it's a tropical storm. Right now, the, fork, the National Weather Service is saying that we could have anywhere to, from 40 to 50 miles of tropical storm force winds when it hits the coastline. Okay. Right now, we're looking at probably sometime tomorrow, midday sometime, as early as in the morning, we'll start to see some of those tropical storm effects start to hit St. Tammany Paris. The duration is quite a bit, anywhere from six to 12 hours. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. We're asking all of our citizens to stay vigilant, to stay on top of that. As you look at the weather forecast, you're looking, you'll see that a lot of that, when you say storm surge, the maximum on Lake Pontchartrain is anywhere from one to three feet. Okay, don't pay that much to that. You know, it can be higher, okay? We know that, hey, from the National Weather Service that we're looking at anywhere from four to six inches of rain. On the uh, extreme east side of the parish, we're looking at anywhere from six to 10 in the Mississippi. That's quite a bit of water, okay? Also, if one of these bands sits over, over us for a while, there could be anywhere from 10 to 15 inches of rain, short period of time. That's a lot of rain to try to run off. Right now, our rivers are good. They still have some storage capacity, but those rivers are forecast to go up tomorrow because of the amount of rain that's predicted. We're asking you to continue to stay vigilant, okay? Understand what's going on. Continue to listen to the updates. Uh, we know that COVID-19 is still going on. It hadn't went anywhere. If you have to weigh those options of, of evacuating COVID, the storm, always err on that side of cautions, okay? Get out of the way of the storm. If you feel like you're threatened because of where you are in those low-lying areas when it starts to rain so, so much, by all means, get out of the area. We don't want you to stay there and become an instance to where you have to be rescued. Please pay attention to what's going on. Let's not underestimate tropical storm goose yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Clarence. Uh, we can't emphasize enough that even though this may be coming directly to us as a tropical storm, that the amount of rain that it's bringing and the, the winds, the high winds of up to 50, 60 mile an hour gust can have an effect on us that we may not normally expect. So let's prepare as if it's a cat one, cat two, and hope for even less. So prepare for the winds, prepare for the rain, and uh, make preparations to protect your properties to the extent that you can. And please know that St. Tammany Parish government is available to serve you. Again, we've got uh, information provided through our STPG TV, public access channels, and our social media as well. So I'll open at this time to any questions. Shay. What are some tips, um, just as far as I know, you know, we talked about sandbags. Um, what are some additional um, items that residents can purchase just to be on the safe side? Okay, that's, that's great. Uh, in addition to preparing with sandbags, if you need such, please, uh, you still have time to go to the grocery stores and get your food provisions, water, and any provisions that you may need if you have to shelter in place for a day or two uh, without getting out in the rain. But also, we wanna ask our citizens to enhance their emergency preparedness by having their gloves, face mask, hand, hand conditioners and disinfecting, uh, have that available at home in the event that they uh, need to stay in, and also make sure that you have your medications. Again, it's not too late. It's Saturday afternoon. Uh, the weather's going to get in inclement more tomorrow morning and during the day tomorrow, so it's not too late to make those, uh, those trips to the grocery store, the drugstore uh, this afternoon to make those provisions. 
areas that are being encouraged to evacuate within the parish? Well, we have no evacuation at this point, and, and, uh, but thanks for bringing that up. While we have no evacuation orders, there will be areas that may be impacted, uh, low areas that may be impacted with, with surge from Lake Pontchartrain particularly, and that's f anywhere from Slidell to Madisonville across Lake Pontchartrain. So if you're in low-lying areas that you normally experience water coming onto your property, you, you probably need to prepare for this, uh, for, for the same. And, and also, if we get the type of rains that, that are expected, and if it takes, and if it hovers over St. Tammany Parish for a long period of time, we may expect some riverine flooding as well. So those that live along the rivers may have to prepare as well. So we're, we're preparing for, for the rain and, and winds up to 60 miles an hour. And also I might, might add that uh, this afternoon and tomorrow morning, go out in your yard and, and if you have lawn furniture and other, other uh, items in your yard, bicycles, uh, umbrellas, please move them in uh, to your garage or, or into an area that's uh, protected from the wind and, and rains as well because winds at 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts could uh, have an effect on that. Away from, from where they're living, what precautions can they take? Um, where can they contact for help? Okay, uh, they can contact parish government at 985-898-2700. That is a, a, uh, a line that goes directly to St. Tammany Parish government. Also, if it's an emergency, of course, you call 911. Uh, but we, uh, we are here to serve our citizens and ask those in advance if, if they feel that they may have to go to higher, higher ground. While we do not have shelters open at this time and really don't plan to, if, if those who live in low areas are, or may be living by themselves and feel that they need to go to higher ground, they may have, if they have relatives or friends that live in out of the risk area, that would be, that would be uh, suggested to them. Just in case. Okay, I do not do not have the exact locations at, the, at this point. Uh, a Amy will be able to give that to you, uh, but the, the six locations are around St. Across, all across St. Tammany Parish, and they're at the typical locations that our citizens are familiar with, which are typically the uh, public works uh, operation centers across St. Tammany Parish from in Covington, Mandeville, Lacombe, Slidell, Pearl River are typically where they are. And one more question. Sure. Um, it, during the pandemic, I mean, this is it's very different. It's Quite different. different. So kind of just tell us about the importance of staying safe during the pandemic, I mean, because we don't want to catch the coronavirus while trying to leave from where we are. Just kind of tell me about that. That is a great point. Uh, the question was, you know, how, how do we stress to our citizens to take care of themselves during this pandemic as well as preparing for a tropical storm coming into our, our area. Well, of course, uh, preparing for the pandemic, uh, we're continuing to ask our citizens to stay at home, shelter at home, uh, avoid large social gatherings, and have all of the precautions uh, that I mentioned earlier, hand disinfectant, masks, and gloves, and uh, having your proper medication. So stay at home and still take the precautions of that if you do have to go out and meet with others, uh, make sure you, you plan for social distancing uh, and such. If you're visiting other families, uh, you know, please avoid getting close uh, as, as you would. So still practice what we do for, uh, for the COVID uh, public health crisis that we're facing, as well as prepare for, for the uh, upcoming weather. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. So um, you, you issued an emergency declaration yesterday, and what about the EOC activation? What's going to happen there? Is that going to activate today? Yes, and I'm, I'm going to turn it back over to Clarence. Clarence uh, will be able to give us an update on the full activation, or the partial activation, actually, 
of our emergency operations center and who will who that will include and and what will we be doing but as far as the emergency declaration yes uh, late yesterday I issued an executive order uh, asking uh, our citizens to uh, take precautions for uh, the upcoming storm but it also allows us to be uh, to have access to state and federal funding if, if needed uh, by declaring a, a national or a local uh, emergency here in St. Tammany Parish. So we, we, we have done so and uh, I would like Clarence to give us an update on the partial activation here at the Emergency Operations Center. The EOC right now is staffed by the emergency management staff. At 7 p.m. today we will go to a partial activation consisting of the St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's Office, your fire services, Department of Transportation and Development, Acadian Ambulance, and a couple of more. Our other liaisons that work in the EOC will actually be working from a virtual connection using our uh, software called WebEOC. That's what provides that conduit between the EOC and them through the internet. So they're available to respond as if they were sitting in the emergency operations center. We're ready. We don't have a tentative time on how long the EOC is going to be activated. It will not deactivate until this event is over with. But starting at 7 p.m. tonight, the EOC will be activated on a 24-hour basis. Thank you. If yes. In, if, in fact, any roads, you know, take on water or anything like that, what would you like to say to people about the precautions of high water signs and like Certainly, thank you. Uh, with regard to potential high rains that brings water uh, in our local roadway ditches that may cover our roadways, please, I ask our citizens again, to, particularly tomorrow, there'll be uh, rain bands, so don't get out in the middle of the rain bands uh, to, to go out. Please stay at home as much as possible. Uh, barricades may be placed. Do not go around barricades if they're if they're placed by Public Works, and just uh, be cautious if you're out and about tomorrow. We will be available to the media. We'll be available to the public throughout uh, this evening, and particularly tomorrow during the day. If you need to reach us, uh, you have the contact information of our information officer, Public Information Officer Amy Bouton. And I will be available as well throughout the day tomorrow uh, to our media, again, uh, through, through our public information officer. We want to keep our public informed of the progress of this tropical storm as it is now and what the potential is for us, particularly tomorrow and throughout Sunday night and maybe even into Monday morning. So thanks again for the local media covering this. And we're, we're here to serve our citizens and to provide up-to-date information to them. Thank you.